I'm Blake Clemens, the chairman of the Addison Legacy Foundation, and we just finished our Run the Lights event, which is a fundraiser for the Addison Legacy Foundation. And as part of that, one of our major sponsors at, at the Fun Run and the 5K is Bitter Sisters, located in Addison, Texas, a brewery here in Addison, Texas, a microbrewery, brewery, if you will. I'm here with Matt, one of the owners of Bitter Sisters. And Matt, I want to say thank you so much for providing the beer and serving the beer at our, at our Fun Run and 5K. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Great. So, Matt, what I'd like to do, a couple of things I'd like to know. You brought along um, uh, last Friday one of, uh, may, I think you brought two beers to, yes. our, to our run. Tell us about those two beers. Uh, so, we brought our two German lagers. Our Busybody Blonde Lager is our Golden German Lager, and our Hissy Fit Merzen Lager is a, a German Amber Lager. Well, I, I can tell everybody that those beers were fantastic. We appreciate it. But what I'd also like to do is kind of, if you don't mind, could you give us a tour of your brewery? Sure, absolutely. Great. So come on along. Let's go see the brewery here at Bitter Sisters in Addison, Texas. So Matt, here we are at what uh, is referred to as the brew house. Yes. Tell us a little bit, tell the viewers and about what, what is it we're looking at right here. Uh, so this is uh, actually where we make the beer. Uh, all of these vessels are used at different stages in the process or as part of a process. Uh, so the big wide uh, vessel, uh, it's got the grain hopper above it. That's yes. our mash tun. That's where we mix uh, the malt with hot water. Uh, when we're done, we'll uh, strain off the sugar water from that vessel uh, and we'll move it into the boil kettle, which is uh, the next vessel. We'll bring the, the wort, is what we call it, we bring it to a boil, uh, we'll add our hops, and when the boil's done, we'll move it to one of the fermentation tanks on the right. Those are the big cone-shaped bottom tanks. Gotcha. That's where the beer ferments anywhere from three to six weeks. Uh, when it's done, we'll move it to one of the two tanks here on the end. Those are our bright beer tanks where uh, the beer finishes clarifying and we get the carbonation levels just perfect where we'll then keg it off directly from the tank. Great. So I, I keep hearing you talk about kegs. Um, how does somebody get your beer? Can we go to the uh, Whole Foods or Tom Thumb and buy your beer? How do we get your beer? So our beer is served uh, in bars and restaurants around North Texas, quite a few here in Addison. You can go to the Whole Foods in Addison and buy a growler of our beer. So you can buy a half gallon jug or smaller and they'll fill up some beer and you can take it home and enjoy it at home. Or you can come into the tasting room when we're open Fridays and Saturdays and come try beer with us. Great. So you provide to a lot of bars and restaurants. Yes. And just a few at this point, because I, we've got a little surprise, just a few uh, grocery stores. But I believe you were telling me that next year you, you're, you're seriously considering going into the canning business and putting, uh, putting a production facility for cans and cases of beers. Exactly, yeah. So early 2017, you'll see uh, start seeing our beers in cans. So you'll be able to get a six pack when you want to go play golf with some cold beer. Uh, so that's, that's the next step. So Matt, this looks like a very complicated process and every, there are no windows on any of these tanks. How will you know when, it's, when the beer's finished and ready to be either put in a, put in a can or put in a keg? Uh, well, when we're ready to keg, we check to make sure the beer is ready uh, by using a very complicated lab called my tongue. Oh, so excellent. We'll uh, pour a beer uh, through what we call a proof coil or a pigtail. Uh -huh. and We'll check it. What we're doing is we're making sure the carbonation level, the clarity is just right so that the beer pouring at your favorite bar or restaurant uh, is just like it would be here at the brewery. So we'll check the clarity. You can see oh, levels, yeah. good carbonation. Uh -huh. And then final check. 
so that's good. It's ready to keg. Ready the, to the, hi, the hissy fit is ready to keg. The hissy fit is ready to keg. So it takes six weeks to make this fine tasting beer. Yes. Fantastic. There you have it from Matt. Matt knows what he's talking about. He's the best. So Matt, we've now what what I think I heard you say earlier was that you have five standard beers that you're always available and then you add one or change one out. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so we have five core beers that are available year round and then we add a sixth beer about every quarter uh, depending on the season. Fantastic. So uh, these four that you show here on the tap, these four are the standard that are here year round. Yes, So correct. tell us a little bit about each one of these. Uh, we've got our Busybody Blonde Lager. It's a German golden lager, very traditional. Uh, we've got our Catfight IPA. It's an American IPA, nice and citrusy. We've got our Knockout Irish Red, a little bit bigger beer, darker beer, a little bit of chocolate. Uh, we've got our Hissy Fit Merzen Lager. It's like an Oktoberfest. Uh, we actually won uh, gold at World Beer Cup with it. So that's the best Oktoberfest in the world. So, okay, fantastic. And now where we are is in the tasting room, which is a very nice and comfortable setting. As I see it, you know, I've been to a lot of wineries in California and France, and they sure. have tasting rooms. Is that what, tell us a little bit about your tasting room here. Yeah, it's the same type of setup. This is, this is nice event space. Uh, the public is welcome. Absolutely. On Friday afternoons and Saturday afternoons. Correct, yep. Close the rest of the week. It's really not a bar nor a restaurant. No. You're a microbrewery. You're a brewery. Brewery here in Addison, Texas. And would you mind if we tasted some of this beer that, that you brewed for us? Absolutely. Well, what would you like to try? Well, there, there's only, as I look at the four taps, there's only one we must try, and that's the Addison, Texas tap with the busybody flavor and beer in it. So let's let's pull the Addison, Texas tap with the busybody beer. All right, well this is our busybody blonde lager made with all German malt, German hops, traditional German lager yeast. So this is as close to Germany as you can get in Addison, Texas. Here we are, Bitter Sisters, Addison, Texas, blonde beer with Matt. Tasting room open to the public Fridays and Saturdays. Get, the, get their beer on tap and in many bars and restaurants and even the Whole Foods here in Addison, Texas as well. So Matt, cheers to you. Cheers. Here we go. Wow, is that good? Wow, is that good? Come, come to Bitter Sisters, Addison, Texas. Taste their beer. It's the best. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. Cheers. So Matt, again, thank you so much for being a major sponsor at Run the Lights for the Addison Legacy Foundation. We appreciate it. Our race in 2017 is gonna be December 1st. Are you in? I'm in, I'll put it on the calendar. Put it on the calendar, we appreciate it. Bitter Sisters, Addison, Texas.